Hey, it's Paul with ebooktemplates101.com. This is a quick video to show you how to identify and work with line breaks and paragraph breaks in Microsoft Word when you're using our Kindle template. So here's what I mean. Uh, anytime there's a break, like it's, it's, it's like hitting the return key um, in the formatting. And so there's these little symbols here that you can turn on and off and each symbol shows a break. And that is the formatting that tells the Kindle to like basically hit the return key and create a space before the next line. So you'll have all these breaks and I'm going to show you first how to turn on and off those breaks because it really helps what you're doing. And then secondly, I'm going to show you a common error that people make and how to fix it. So the first step is, uh, it's going to depend on what version of Word you're using, where to find it, but I'm using the latest version and it's up here in the main area and that is the button right there. So if I hover over the button, it says show, hide, paragraph marks and other formatting symbols. So if I click on that, it'll get rid of all those symbols. So you see now in the document, there's no more symbols. Uh, all I have to do to show them again is to click on that button and now they're back. So you can see anywhere there where there's breaks. Now this title page is perfect the way it is right now but I'm going to show you a common error that I see with um, some people that have used um, our template and for whatever reason paste it in their text and um, they did too many breaks. So it, it may look like this, for example. And there may be three or four extra breaks. There may be 20 extra breaks. And this is what it'll look like. Now, you wouldn't see that. Watch what happens if I take that off. You don't see it. You don't notice that there's breaks. But the Kindle will see that. So if I turn that back on, you'll see all those page breaks. It's like hitting the return key each time. And so in this case, if you have all these breaks, for example, at the end of this chapter, what it's going to do in most cases is create a, an extra page that's just a completely blank page, which of course you don't want. So you don't want a blank page in between chapters or you don't want a blank page anywhere in your book. So you definitely don't want that. So uh, the first step is when you're working with your book, um, if you preview your book on your Kindle, and you notice you have some blank pages, it's, uh, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but it, if it does happen, this is how you fix it. You just turn on that show paragraph button, and then all you do is just highlight, just highlight these uh, paragraph marks and just delete them. Just hit the delete key, and that's it. Now it's fixed, it's perfect. There won't be any blank pages at all. So that is how you can identify your paragraph breaks and fix any kind of blank pages that you may or may not have in your ebook.